the son of Collision out of Rose Chalice. Last up winner on the track here was a story on uh, Tweed Ace and Mark in the Courier Mail this morning. Mark suggesting that uh, the four dog will jump out pretty well and go straight. He won't crash left, he won't crash right, he'll probably go straight and he's hoping he'll, uh, he'll get a nice clear passage early doors. Okay, 520 metres the journey. I don't think we're on Sky 1 for race 1, but anyway, such is life. Uh, $2.10, number 4, Tweed Ace, the favourite. Green light. Racing. Begin only fairly, Tweed Ace. Slash is king out quickly. Here comes Zap down the outside. Slash is king. Leads the charge into the first turn. Got away by a length or so on Zap, who's trying to get up on the inside, but copped a bit of a check. Then came Rumble Street, followed by Mulloway. Well back is Doc Graham. Tweed Ace, well back. And then came American Force and Silky Wanda, the last one. Near the turn. Slash is king out by two and a half on Zapped. Slash is king corners nicely out in front. And Slash is king will win the day. Second or oh, Doc Graham along the fence, a nose to Zapped. Fourth is either Mulloway or Silky Wanda. Behind them then came Rumble Street. And further back was American Force, who was one of the last. Slash is king up ahead of one or two of those. Victory. Goes to number five, Slash is King. $18 and $4.30. Slash is King. Number five takes the prize from a photo. The two Doc Graham was sneaking between runners there. It's going to be in the placings, I would suggest. 30 and 47 the time. Five and a photo. They were the two that he nominated as big dangers and he said they're, they're probably over the odds. So um, it's a decent sort of a fifth grade. Chant, box one. By Magambo. Out of Velocity Thunder. Green lights on. Race to Brisbane. Ready. Racing. Chant popped out nicely straight to the early lead from Senor's Mistress and Greenock Girl. And Chant will clear them around the first turn and got away. Or Greenock Girl will fall as she skidded to the outside fence but seems okay. Into the back and Chant leading by length. Coming after it, Wing Delete with a real strong railing performance. Four to My Awesome Opal followed by Senor's Mistress. And then Bellissimo Bell. Okay, Yetta. Galway Tornado the last one. Wing Delete got through and took over. Got away from Chant. Wing Delete the leader. Coming away. Good young pup. Wing Delete wins it from Chant by about three. Third, Senor's Mistress, and fourth in then was My Awesome Opal. They were followed by OK Yetta, Bellissimo Bell, Galway Tornado, and Greenock Girl. She took a heavy tumble at the first turn. She seemed OK. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's been captured by Jason Irwin over there, just past the catching pen, and seems reasonably unharmed. Well, there you go. Tony Brett nominated that dog as one of two big dangers to his, and he was right. Wing to leap. Well, the one led. The six got across behind it and then railed past it, so you can say no more than the winner was too good. Right for the Albion Park card, races five, six, seven and eight. Started with a Jack Mott amount of 11,551. Was up over 30,000 a short while ago. That's races five through to eight. This is the third, 270 coin of phrase, number eight, green light, they're ready. And away. Beginning fast there was Mr. Garcia took the early lead. Proper Lily going through in the centre. Coin of phrase wide and midfield round the first turn. Oh, got a bump there. Going out of the straight and Mr. Garcia out by three on Proper Lily and Swap went through to third. Followed by Montrose made raging obsession and then came Coin of phrase. Further back was a Riga legend and Harris Royce the last one. Mr. Garcia bounded away on the turn. He's well clear of Swap and Proper Lily. Mr. Garcia out in front of the wire. Flying late. That's the eight out. Oh, he got up. Coin of phrase. Phrase, golly, what a run. Coin of Phrase has gunned down Mr. Garcia. Thirds between Raging Obsession, Montrose Maid and Araga Legend. Swap just behind those with proper Lillian Harris Royce. There is a run. Coin of Phrase, number eight. It's come from sixth down the back straight to score. Fabulous run. I'm happy to admit that I was wrong. Eight, Coin of Phrase. Super run. Two dollars and a dollar thirty. One, Mr. Garcia. Three is third swap and five got fourth raging obsession. 
There's a look at this end of the straight. It's still four or five lengths off the uh, winner or the leader. That's a beaut run. Zinger 7, 10 and 3, Venno at $9. In they go. 5 2 the journey of the 4th of 10. Ipswich Twilights tomorrow here in uh, South East Queensland. And again Saturday night there at Ipswich on the TAB. The first at 7.47 there on Saturday. OK, green light. Here we go. Racing. Giappelli jumped out well. It's coming across there with star speed down to the first turn and punching up there was Pearl Zarzinger and getting through in the middle velocity. Zoe, a real keen charge. Giappelli won that battle. Start cheering, Mr. Roichi. Giappelli down the back by two. Coming after it, velocity Zoe, followed by star speed. And then Junior Hornet and further back was Venno from Pearl Zarzinger, railroad record and Arara tank, the last one. Giappelli in front. Velocity Zoe rails, grabs the lead. Velocity Zoe. Giappelli coming back again. Velocity Zoe. Velocity Zoe in a photo has just beaten Giappelli. Star Speed third, Junior Hornet fourth. Then came Pearl Zarzinger, Venno, Railroad Rocket and Aurora Tank. Seven Velocity Zoe, 220 and one dollar. Eight Giappelli, a dollar sixty. Five Star Speed at 310. Velocity Zoe looked as though it might win easily when railing to the lead in the early part of the home straight, but Giappelli came back, stuck to its guns. And the margin between them a length at the finish. Seven, eight, five, four, five cakes and pies, four thirty, and four whiny boy at four seventy. In they go. Six hundred metres the journey, one and a half circuits, or about one and a third circuits, I suppose, of the track. All locked away. Spirited flame with the nose right at the front of the grill there, keen to get on with it. Three dollars number eight, set. And away. Spirited Flame missed it just a little bit. Punching up there was Betty's Memory, Cakes and Pies and Wagtail and Spirited Flame round the outside. A lap to go. Cakes and Pies in front of Spirited Flame followed by Wagtail and then came Kulos. Behind those Ben's House and then Betty's Memory. Second last Never Tell and Wayne Boy the last one. Down the back and Cakes and Pies straight away. Oh it's four or five in front of Wagtail and Kulos. Then Spirited Flame going nowhere at the moment. Further back Ben's House and then Betty's Memory but Cakes and Pies. The track specialist is well clear. Cakes and Pies is going to romp it in. Wagtail second, third, late on the scene, never tell. Then Spirited Flame and Wayne's Boy from Ben's house, Q Loz, and last of all, Betty's Memory. Cakes and Pies gets you off and running in the uh, quaddy. Number five at 4.30 and 1.40. One Wagtail $1.20. Six Never Tell at $4.80. 35 even. In fact, 34.98. The confirmed time, 34.98. 516, Cakes and Pies. Close second in the Brisbane Club Greyhound of the Year last year. And has kicked off 2014 with three wins in a row. Big Daddy Cool Ultra Swift, Ronnie Ball for the My Girls Partners. Wagtail, fellow set Bacardi Cruiser, Christina Harmon for the A team. For a jackpot uh, kick, kick start of 11,500. Okay, in they go. I guess start all important for Banakin. He'd want a lead to be a, a genuine winning chance, you would think. How fast will White Hornet go out of the three box at her first start at the journey? We're about to find out. Green light. Away. Beginning fast was Bellagio Lad near the inside. White Hornet up to second, followed by Late Angel Lee up close and handy. Then came Charter, followed by Banakin. Well back is Starliner from uh, My Illusion and Moss Gambo, the last one. To the back, Bellagio Lad by a length and a half on Late Angel Lee. Two lengths away, White Hornet, another two to Banakin. Then came Starliner Charter. Further back, Moss Gambo, My Illusion, the last one. Late Angel Lee cut, cut loose on the turn and took the lead from Bellagio Lad. Then came White Hornet, but Late Angel Lee coming away. Great win. Late Angel Lee from Banakin slicing between runners to get second. Thirds between Bellagio Lad and Starliner, I would think. Then My Illusion Charter, followed by Moss Gambo and also White Hornet. Actually, White Hornet's closer than that. Two, Late Angel Lee, 310 and 170. One, Bellagio Lad, $2. Or well, eight, rather, Banakin will be second. Yeah, one third, Bellagio Lad. Further photo for fourth. 281. Banakin second. Bellagio Lad third. And four got fourth White Hornet. Sorry, four fourth star liner just ahead of White Hornet. 2814. 281. Entries in the 
there were 83 noms initially but a few scratchings. So the heats will be on Saturday night, February 8. The semi-finals Saturday twilight, February 15. And the final Saturday night, February 22 out there at Ipswich. Perino $1.50. Green light. Favourites in the blue rug. Racing began brilliantly, Perino, straight across to the rail and leads. Thunder Rocks might have bumped the rail there, but it's recovered and is running second. But Perino, out of the straight, ducked away by about four on Thunder Rocks. Three or four away came Space Wave. And then came Rush of Power, Raging Iser, and further back was Tweed Bar Day. And Storm to Victory, something's gone and misses, tailed right off. Coming to the turn and Perino out by five or six on Thunder Rocks. Then came Space Wave and further back was Rush of Power. Perino is clear, Thunder Rocks running a cheeky race, but Perino too classy, wins it well, Thunder Rock second, Space Wave third, Tweed Bar Day, a nice comeback run, got up to run fourth, then Russia Power, Rising Iser, and about 50 metres away to Storm to Victory, just going into the pen now. Easy win to number four, Perino, 160 and 160, one Thunder Rocks at 290, three Space Wave, no third, Tweed Bar Day, number eight, winding up fourth. 30 and 17 is the time. 30 and 17. 4, 1, 3 and 8. Barino, Bellagio, Lad and 8, Late Angel Lee. First reserve, White Hornet. Second reserve, Q Loss. Forward they come. Battis Tuzzi back into favouritism now. Number 3 at $3.10. Just ahead of 8, Phantom Jewels, three sixty, And number 2, Cecil Henry. He was the favourite a couple of minutes ago. He's now out to $4, Cecil Henry. Green light. Ready. They're away. Hawko's mistake jumped cleanly from the inside. Tackled by Cecil Henry. And coming down the outside's Yogi Blue. Battis Tuzzi's back nearly last go and got skittled there. Out of the straight they go. Yogi Blue got the fly. Raced away by three to Cecil Henry. Couple away. Hawko's mistake got to third. Then came Phantom Jules. And further back was Captain Clary. A goodly march. And then to Zipping Herf. Battis Tuzzi. And as a time, the last one. It's all Yogi Blue coming around the corner. Well clear of Cecil Henry. And Yogi Blue. He beat them easily. Second. Or oh, Phantom Jules and Nose Hawko's mistake. Captain Clary fourth and Cecil Henry weakened. He got back to fifth. And then came Battis Tuzzi as a time and zipping Herf in about 30 even. Seven Yogi Blue, 8.20 and 2.60. Gets the Cadbury's from a photo. I thought eight Phantom Jules might just grab second in front. Yes, it has. Number eight, second Phantom Jules. One is third Hawko's mistake. And five, fourth Captain Clary. 7815, 781 and 5 in 3003. Right, Ipswich Twilights tomorrow in the Greyhounds and Ipswich Gallops in the afternoon tomorrow as well. Plenty happening everywhere. 330, number 5, Rascal Flash. Fine Cotton, number 8's out to 5 bucks. Number 4, Hope's Fantasy at $6. 710, about number 3, Hara's Sammy. Green light for race 9. Ready. They're off. Out in the centre there, Hara Sammy came away well. So did Rascal Flash and spearing through Spring Colorado. Fine Cotton wide is one of the last going out of the straight. Where Rascal Flash takes the lead by length on Spring Colorado. Five to passing pause and then came Hope's Fantasy. Followed by Hara Sammy. Hope's for further back then Fine Cotton trying to make ground. And Black Fatale dropped out last. On the turn, Rascal Flash in front. Spring Colorado the danger. Rascal Flash, Spring Colorado up on the inside. Rascal... Ooh. Might be Spring Colorado, the inside of Nose, Rascal Flash. Fine Cotton steamed home and got third. Big Dak was fourth. Then came Passing Paws, Hope's Fantasy, Hara's Sammy and Black Fatale last. Maybe the seven on the inside in the last bound. It's a photo between the five and the seven. Seven and five. I just went for the finisher on the inside, but if you're on either, you've got a hope here. It's a photo between five and seven, seven and five. No decision as yet. Spring Colorado, $9 and $2 if it gets it. Here's a replay. Won't help as much. It's very, very close. You'd say from that they're probably the five, but Anne Maria Judge has yet to make a decision, so she's obviously trying to find the fence. Still no result of this photo on the Gem Hotel Grade 5 stake. Every time you look at that re replay, you think the five, don't you? But see see below the, see the, 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 the black... Um, neck and head of the dog on the outside the nose of the the brindle one on the inside has um, come through it's a dead heat after all that it's a dead heat between five and seven 
30 and 19 the time, as you know, with this technology of finish links, not only here at Albion Park, but everywhere. They can get it down to seemingly the width of a human ear, they tell you. Barriots of fire, 520 number 8, Phineas Flynn. Sunshine Coast Gallops tomorrow night here in Queensland, the first at 6.30. On what will be a busy Friday night, but then again, it's never a quiet Friday night, is there? In racing. Never a quiet night, full stop. OK, green light for the last, 3.10. Glorified G. Racing. Missed it a little bit, Glorified G, but now is punching through and is going to take the lead from Chariots of Fire and down the outside there goes Early Show. Out of the straight and getting away was Glorified G by about four lengths. Chariots of Fire is second. Three to Early Show, chasing keenly to third and then came Blue Phonic. Well back is Phineas Flynn from Cheryl's Lament. Tullamore Lad and General Bacon drop to the tail. It's all Glorified G at the moment. Well clear of uh, Chariots of Fire holding down second, but the Red Rug Runner will win the last. Glorified G easily from Chariots of Fire. General Bacon's come from last. I reckon grabbed third in front of probably early show fourth. Then came Cheryl's Lament, Blue Phonic, Phineas Finn and General Bacon in about 30 and 3. One glorified G, 310 and 150 for Grant Fennelly, the owner of uh, the Great Bitch Punch one out. Two Chariots of Fire second, $1.40. Judge wants a photo for third. One, two and a photo in 30 and 30. Five links, the winning margin. Six got third, General Bacon, from last to get third. And seven is fourth, early show. So one, two, six and seven. And the winner is by Fearsophonic, out of awesome knocker, Grant Fennelly for himself. Second, Chariots of Fire, Bit Chilly, Elite Angel, Ross Ogden for the Rock, Paper, Scissors Syndicate. Third was the sixth, General Bacon, by Knocker Norris out of Oceanic Tycoon.